Hello again everyone, it's Tuesday morning, I've taken Nikki into Lymington to get on with her course and I'm back at the van, I'm going to get back on with this tractor sign. Now I've blown it up to A3 size on the photocopier at work and I think that fits quite nicely on this bit of steel sheet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the sort of weathered riveted plate look and the background. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut out the outline of this because I don't want that underneath the um, logo itself. So let's do that first. Right, I'll now position this roughly where I want it, I think. I want to leave some space below here for some writing. I want to leave a margin for that sort of riveted strip around the edge. So I think about there is right. Let's make sure it's reasonably straight and even. Yep, let's go for that. Using these magnets still. They're pretty good if you're painting on steel I reckon. Can't really beat them. Unfortunately this has been folded in half where I uh, Transported it in a folder, so try and get rid of that crease. One on your beat, mate. So I've got a pretty nice little setup round here in the gazebo for me airbrushing. The uh, compressor there and uh, the tractor plate thing all set up ready. Oh, well I was planning on putting a coat of intercoat clear on this so when I masked up for the lines for the panels I didn't pull any of the um, airbrushing off but uh, it's gone completely solid not really had it that long and it's been kept in uh, reasonably good conditions nice and cool and everything so uh, that's a bit disappointing hmm instead I'm gonna leave this a good few minutes to uh, harden up oh well uh, Time for a brew then, I guess. Actually, since it's about half past 12, might as well have me lunch as well. Right, well that's uh, quite enough of that, I guess. Uh, Time to crack on, I think. Thank you. 
Well, there we go. There's the uh, background done, which uh, I'm pretty happy with. You make a rather silly mistake that you might have seen on the back here. Um, there's so much paint on the easel that uh, it started to um, stick to the steel and peel off. So I'm going to have to sort that out later. Anyhow, let's take this chap off. Yeah, sometimes these magnets make a little impression on the paint if it's not quite dry enough. Anyway, we'll get rid of all of that when we uh, paint the crest on. Well, that's quite enough of that for today, I think. Pretty tiring old business, this airbrushing. I think I need a rest and a brew. Well, that's all for now. If you enjoyed it, press like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new.